So hello everyone. Welcome to the world of clinical data management, the backbone of successful clinical trial. Are you someone who is preparing for an interview in this dynamic field or perhaps you are just someone who is curious about what it takes to excel as a data management professional, then this is the right video for you. Today we dive into data management as a career field and understand the data flow in clinical trial as well as we learn about how to answer the most common interview questions and provide you with perfect answers that could land you the job. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel immediately so that you are updated with amazing quality videos without wasting any further time. Let's start the video. So in this particular video, what are we going to see? We will understand briefly what is clinical data management. We will understand the flow of the data in clinical trials. We'll focus on majorly top 10 interview question and answers which are definitely asked when it comes to CDM interviews. And finally, we will see what is the position and salaries of clinical data management professionals. So first and foremost, let us understand what exactly is data management or clinical data management. So when it comes to clinical data management, you have to understand that it is a process of collecting and managing the research data or the trial data in accordance with the regulatory standard to obtain the quality information that is complete as well as error free. That is definition of clinical data management. And what is the goal of clinical data management? They will, they will definitely ask you when it comes to interview that why do we conduct uh, or why do we have clinical data management? So the goal is to gather as, as much uh, data for analysis as possible that adheres to the federal, state and local resolution. Okay, so whatever data we collect that should be clearly defined by the regulation which adheres to the federal, state or local regu uh, regulations. You cannot collect additional data which could affect the right safety and well-being of the subjects. Okay, the next thing is that uh, the intrinsic goal of any particular clinical data management system is to produce and maintain uh, quality of data. So when it comes to clinical data management, there is a certain criteria. Okay, there are standards which clearly helps you to maintain the quality of the data as well as those particular standard when implemented would also help you in uh, minimizing the errors in the data. Okay, so that is about clinical data management. Now let us understand how exactly data flows into the clinical trial, where exactly data management comes in and how CDM operates. So please look at this particular figure. Okay. So when it comes to clinical data management, first and foremost, you create a data management plan. Okay. So once you have a data management plan, you move on to the next step, uh, which is the data collection tools. Okay. So we create case report forms or electronic uh, data capture system which will have tools through which the site can collect the data. Once we have the data collection tools, we move on to the next phase where we have a particular database to store that collected data. Okay. And once we have the data, we create systems or plans to develop that particular data and verify whether it is in compliance with the data management plan. Okay, then we move on to the next system where we uh, perform a logical check to collected data to understand whether the data is error free and also we provide a data uh, management training and assistance to the professional. Okay, so if you are a CDM professional, you would understand all these steps because you are trained in it. Okay, once the CDM professional have that particular data, we have data acquisition step and then uh, we perform the source data on site verification okay that is where CRA comes CRA understands the data he will put a data query as well as when you're, you perform central monitoring you can also fire data queries okay so that particular step is called as data cleaning okay so you clean the errors found in data then there is a blinded review of the collected data finally if all the data is correct we move on to the closing of the database and in this particular step there is no further editing the data okay data is finalized and once this particular data is finalized that data is sent uh, to the CDM servers and that is archived then later it is used for statistical analysis and regulatory submissions okay so this is a general data flow 
okay so you should understand as a data management professional what exactly is uh, data management and how the data comes and how the data is archived from collection of the data to the archival of the data to the submission to regulatory authority now coming on to the most important part so what are the top data management interview uh, question and answers okay i will clearly highlight which questions are very important and how they should be answered okay so first and foremost obviously as i've explained they will ask you what is clinical data management so whatever i've told you uh, previously so you have to answer according to that which will clearly help you define data management what is the role and what is the application then they will ask you then how does the data flow from start to end of the clinical trial so that particular image that you saw so that is the flow of the data management so that you have to answer coming on to other questions so they will also ask you what are the data collection methods in clinical trial okay so the common data collection methods are case report forms okay that are the hard copies there is also another system called as electronic data capture systems which are generally referred to as edc systems okay edc systems involves the patient diary the lab data uh, the data entry portals okay and each method uh, must ensure that the data integrity and compliance to the regulatory standards is achieved okay so you have to ensure that all the edc system patient diaries eco diaries and the lab data is in compliance to the regulatory standards then they will ask you what are the examples of electronic data capture systems or platforms so you can answer that uh, uh, informed by oracle then viva edc medidata rave uh, redcap are one of the uh, some of the example of edc systems okay the next uh, popular question is that how do you ensure the quality of uh, clinical data okay so whenever the data is entered in the clinical trial there are bound to be some error and risk okay so that data uh, quality is ensured by uh, a thorough meticulous data entry validation check regular audit and adherence to the sop and gcps if we have adherence to all these particular systems then we can ensure that the data is of certain quality so that is how you tackle the fourth question the next uh, important question is that how do you handle the incomplete or inconsistent data in a clinical trial because obviously there will be data which has intrinsic errors so the inconsistency or the errors in data are managed by implementation of the validation check as a clinical data management professional you would be responsible for validation check and query identification and rectification of error you would fire queries in the edcs in the eco diaries and once we have identified the query the incomplete data is addressed by following up with the site or the cras and we can ensure that the uh, data throughput that we have okay that is of a certain quality and the inconsistency are removed okay so that is how you handle incomplete or inconsistent data the next question would be that what is your understanding of database locking in cdm so as i've said that database locking is the finalizing of the database at the end of the trial okay so the database lock comes at the end of the trial and database locking means that after that particular point there is no changes to be data all the data is previously cleaned the data is error free and now there are going to be no changes in the data and this particular step of database locking it ensures that the data's integrity is clear before the final analysis now uh, there will be a situational question to the candidate uh, of your opinion of clinical data management and why is it required okay so that is an opinion based questions so there you have to smartly explain the interviewer that what is your thinking why data management is important what are the guidelines what are the regulations and why do you think that this particular measure should be implemented so these are situational based questions The next set of question would be that what is masking or blinding of clinical uh, in clinical data management because the data is blinded and masked okay so i have made a detailed video on blinding unblinding of the clinical trial data so i'll post a link in the description box you can go and watch that video make sure you watch the entire video so that you are confident about answering what is blinding or masking in clinical data next thing is they will also ask you that how do you ensure the integrity of the data in clinical trial okay so you have to answer that the integrity of the data okay the data integrity is 
maintained by strict adherence to the alcoa plus principles okay so what is alcoa plus principle these are attributable legible contemporaneous okay original okay and accurate so these are alcoa principle there are four more uh, principle which comes into the plus so i have again made a detailed video on the alcoa principles so go ahead uh, check the link, link in the description take your time understand each and every alcoa principle with examples so that you can clearly be an expert on how to maintain the data integrity okay so please check that video out and finally, they will obviously ask you that where does data management come in? What are the different phases of clinical trial? Again, uh, this uh, particular channel, Clinical Research X360, is your hub for all the clinical data management, uh, pharmacovigilance, and clinical research queries. So I have made a detailed video on different phases of the clinical trial, what happens in each particular phase, and where the data management comes into picture. So make sure you watch that videos also so that you are covered of all the bases. So if you see all these 10 question, it, it covers all the start to end of the data management process and the fundamentals of data management. And finally, obviously you would be curious to understand that which are the particular position that I can enter into clinical data management. What is my future? And most importantly, what is my compensation or salary in CTM? Let's understand. So when it comes to position and salaries in CDM, so I've uh, prepared uh, a table after researching through uh, my colleagues and multiple uh, job portals. So we have a range for different experiences and different positions. So if you start your career as a clinical data analyst with zero to one year experience, your salary is somewhere in between 4.4 to 6 lakhs per annum. Then you get more than two to five years of experience. You become a clinical data specialist where your salary goes again higher as it starts from 8.2 to 10 lakhs per annum then if you acquire 5 to 8 years of experience you become senior data specialist where the salary ranges is, are as high as 17 to 21 lakhs and if you have more than 10 years of experience if you have a decade of experience as a clinical data uh, manage, management professional you become a clinical data manager Okay, so as a clinical data manager, your salary would be anywhere starting from 25 lakhs per annum to 39 lakhs per annum. So if you see clinical data management is a very robust field, it uh, provides even handsome compensation also. So it is again a good field. So make sure that you uh, understand the concepts very clearly. Make sure you prepare for the interview questions. thank you for watching this particular video make sure uh, that you uh, subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you additional or quality videos which can help you understand uh, and prepare better for your upcoming job even upskilling as a data management professional and thank you for watching this video